Welcome from the Naval War College Library Reference Branch. In this video, we're going to talk about permalinks and other bibliographic information for inclusion in a syllabus or a bibliography. When compiling a syllabus or putting together a bibliography for research, correct links pointing to the location of electronic journal articles are very important. This is of particular importance for any academic document that will be shared electronically. Copying and pasting the shown browser URL will not always result in a link that will remain stable. For this reason, it is always advisable to look for a permanent link. To find the permanent link, look for the terms permalink, persistent link, durable URL, stable URL, or find the image of a link. Because many databases do not provide a stable URL, it is always a good practice to copy and paste the citation if one is available. Remember, the intent is to lead others to the content, whether you are working electronically or in print. When preparing the documentation for a syllabus, make sure to explain that users should be networked into a network computer or authenticated through Blackboard to have online access. The portal that leads to all of the Naval War College's subscription databases is the Library A to Z list. We're going to look at journal articles in EBSCO, JSTOR, LexisNexis, and ProQuest. I'm not going to actually be showing the searching process at this time. We're just going to go in and see what it looks like from the level of the actual journal article. Here we are looking at two EBSCO journal databases, the International Security and Counterterrorism Reference Center and the EBSCO Military and Government Collection. They're both on the same platform, so they work the same way. When you identify and open an article in an EBSCO journal database, the permalink image is clearly visible as a chain link over to the right. Open this graphic and copy and paste this permalink into your files. While you are in this article, it's a good idea to go into the Citation Format tool and copy and paste the Chicago Turabian Humanities Citation into your working files. Let's move into JSTOR and look at an article from the JSTOR Journal Archive. Their stable links are clearly visible in the citation information. When you click into the title, you clearly see the stable URL along with all the pertinent bibliographic data. Copy and paste this bibliographic data into your working files. Additionally, if you print or save a JSTOR PDF, the stable URL and bibliographic information will be shown at the beginning of the document. LexisNexis is a database where you find world news, law review journals, and business reports. Each document has the source, the date, and the title of the document as a heading. The permalink is available from a clipboard and link graphic on the top right toolbar. Open this link and the embedded document URL is within this bold print. Right click and choose copy link address or copy link location to copy this embedded durable URL into your files. Additionally, citation information can be found 
in the Bibliographic References tool. Choose Display Bibliographic Information in a new window and copy and paste this citation into your working files. Now let's move into a ProQuest journal article. I have a journal article selected as an example. Open the tab that says Abstract and Details and scroll down to find the document's URL. This is their permanent URL. Also note that ProQuest has made the permanent URL part of the Chicago citation. So if you open this Chicago citation, copy and paste it into your files, you will have everything that you need. While many databases will show a permanent link, some will not. Here we are in Jane's Online where they clearly show the bibliographic data. It's a good idea to copy and paste the bibliographic data into your working files before you leave the document that you're working on. Regardless of which Naval War College database you are working in, it's always the best practice to look for and copy the permanent link, if one is available, and to make notes of the pertinent bibliographic information to provide a trail of your sources. This will make preparation of a syllabus or a formal bibliography much easier, and your students and readers will appreciate being able to find the materials. If you have any questions about the content of this video, please feel free to contact the Naval War College Reference Librarians at libref at usnwc.edu. That's L-I-B-R-E-F at usnwc.edu. Thanks and have a great day.